there's something just like intrinsically interesting about quantum mechanics that's persisted in the community for like, the, you know, the duration that it's been around, which is, is that there are these equations that we have that predict what the world is going to do. And they, I you know mentioned before, they're extremely accurate. But then um, there's a bit of, uh, there's different ways that you can interpret these equations. And what's interesting is that you can't, we don't have like a testable hypothesis to say like which interpretation is the correct interpretation. And so one interpretation is called the Copenhagen interpretation is like one that's typically taught in schools. The other one is called the many worlds interpretation. Right. And this is where the sort of like multiple universes idea comes from. And the, the thing is, is that you can't, we don't have a way to say which one is right and which one is wrong. We kind of, you know, maybe people have their. Will their, quantum their computers figure that out once and for all or do we you know? know that's that is a super interesting kind of cutting edge question but i don't actually i don't know of a way to frame a a, a hypothesis and like I me mean, i'm a you know experimentalist and so i'm very much uh trying to do things in the lab and like get physical evidence for things and um Honestly, because there's no like testable hypotheses between these interpretations, I don't spend too much time kind of right. laying awake at night. But some people do, and there's like kind of like a philosophical implications to that, or you might like find that to be like an interesting problem. 